are touching displays of respect for Westchester firefighter Tim Burns. Streets were lined during a 26-mile funeral procession in his honor. Burns spent 32 years saving lives before losing a battle with cancer. Local 12's Larry Davis is live in Westchester now with a look at the final tribute to Burns' life and his service. Hi, Larry. Hi, Cam. A black bunting is draped across the front of Westchester Fire Station 74 tonight. They are missing one of their brothers. Tim Burns died of renal cancer, and earlier today they said goodbye and gave him one final salute. As the long funeral procession made its way to the church, mourners lined the route to pay their respects. I'm very grateful to them for everything. Every day, they and their families are putting their lives on the line. The Westchester fire engine carrying Burns' flag-draped casket stopped one last time in front of Station 74, Burns' home base. Fairfield Township firefighters manning the station stood at attention. The procession ended at the Springdale Church of the Nazarene, passing under a pair of ladder trucks. Inside the church, family, friends, and firefighters packed the pews. Westchester Fire Chief Rick Prins knew Burns since they were in Cub Scouts. Later, they entered the fire service together. Today, the Westchester Fire Department has truly lost a hero, a true professional, a genuine firefighter, the type of guy we all wanted to work with. Tim Burns was described as a mentor and teacher during his 40-year career. He was also a son, husband, and father to two sons. His brothers and sisters in the fire service have pledged to them their support on the day of his final call. Firefighter Burns, you are officially relieved of your earthly duty and service to others and are ready to be commissioned into the Lord's fire service where you have been called home to serve once more. Rest in peace, brother. Seven-com, the greater and the greater Cincinnati region recognize you for your service and would like to convey to you that you can rest, now rest in peace, brother. We'll take it from here. And Cammy, uh, many area fire departments uh, man the Westchester fire stations today uh, to give uh, their firefighters a chance to mourn their brother. And uh, they will be returning later here to this fire station and others throughout the township and doing just what Tim Burns did for 40 years, serve the public with strength. Live in Westchester, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Cammy, back to you. So sad. Larry, thank you. The Ohio Association of Professional Firefighters says Burns developed renal cancer as a result of being exposed to toxins on the job. Now, his death comes after a state bill was passed to compensate firefighters who contract work-related cancers, but Burns was diagnosed before the bill was passed, and his family will not benefit from the legislation. <laughs>